Okay, this is workplace communication part two, applying for a job activity two to activity four. Okay, uh, in this part, we are going to look at another job description, which is a member of the cabin crew of an airline. Okay, now uh, you may be familiar with the word flight attendants okay however you may not be that familiar with the word cabin crew okay let's take a look at the word cabin okay if you just look at the word cabin is actually just means a small house okay but uh, the word cabin can also means uh, aircraft okay and uh, not just an aircraft but the area where the passenger seats okay that means the inside of an aircraft okay so a cabin crew that means the people who work inside that aircraft okay so that also means the flight attendants okay which is the word that you are more familiar with Okay, flight attendants. Okay, Hong Zhong for Mo Yun. Alright, so let's take a look at what you need to do if you want to work at Cafe Pacific. Okay, first paragraph. We pride ourselves on providing service straight from the heart to our valued customers. We aim to make Cafe Pacific the world's best airline, and we invite committed and enthusiastic people to join our professional team of flight attendants. Okay. First of all, I would like you to highlight these four words. Pride ourselves on providing something. Now, the word pride, okay, please, please highlight and bold this word, okay? A very, very important thing to learn. Okay, so let's take a look at this. First of all, the word pride. Okay, okay. Uh, it is a noun, okay? It is a noun of the word proud okay which proud is an adjective all right and they all means gilmo okay all right however if you okay if you pride oneself okay it is a phrasal verb Alright, it is a phrasal verb, and in this case, the word pride here, okay, it is a verb. Alright, it is a verb, okay. Now, this is the only case, a way, yeah, good case, pride, okay. So, let's take a look at this sentence again. So, we as subjects, we pride ourselves on providing, okay. Ah, uh, so, what are we? 為了什麼而驕傲呢?就是去provide,去提供最好的service is the only only pride that is a verb okay? right, uh, To provide service to who? To a valued customers okay? When you value something, that means they are very important okay? So if you don't want to use the word important, you can also use the word valued okay? right, And we invite committed okay we learned this word in the last videos that means uh you you are very um focused on something okay okay and you are enthusiastic okay this is a big word you must know okay all right so uh are you this kind of people okay let's take a look of what a flight attendant actually needs to do Okay, uh, now when you write point forms, you may have chance to write point forms. Um, they will have okay with their point forms. Get from little letter you low year, how like point forms are so so yeah, hi you low year. Okay, and point forms, eh, nothing you have you think go to it. Then I let it begin though, pay this I'm going to these three point forms. Okay, they are aligned with the same patterns. Okay, could they let the higher go sound to get go. Uh, patterns get okay so first of all carry out in-flight safety and security procedures okay 
provide excellent customer service. Okay, response to passengers' needs promptly. Please underline the word promptly. Okay, uh, another word for the word promptly is the word immediately. Okay, uh, um, immediately, okay, immediately, okay, 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 what are the basic requirements? Okay, if you want to be a flight attendant, what kind of things you need to have in order to become a flight attendant? First of all, you need to be a permanent Hong Kong resident. A permanent means 永久居民. Okay, you must be an adult, so you must be aged of 18 or above. Okay, uh, you should have five. Uh, HKCE subjects passed. Okay, now in this case, now I think is not HKCE anymore. Now it's HKDSE. Okay, so that's why they have the word or equivalent. Okay, uh, 講學歷呢,好多時呢都會出現呢一個 uh, expressions 嘅就係你需要乜嘢乜嘢學歷呢? Or equivalent. Okay, equivalent is another word. Okay, now they're the same. Okay, equals equivalents. Okay, both means a certain thing. Alright, so uh, but for the word equals, it can be a verb, it can be a noun. Okay, but equivalents, let's say, could they get adjective? Like, okay, alright, and you need to be very fluent in language. Okay, uh, English and Cantonese very fluent. So, if you know Mandarin, Mandarin means Putonghua, okay, uh, it's preferred. Okay, uh, 这个呢,其实就是一个解压是优先,也是重要的一个元素,这个意思啦. Okay, and some very useful expressions for your self-introduction, okay, if you say you have very good interpersonal skills, that's very good, okay. 人與人之間的關係,我們不用 communication skills, 也不用 social skills, 我們用 interpersonal skills, 這個是最正確、最formal的 expressions. Okay, uh, previous experience, 有之前過往的經驗,在這個服務業裡面的。Okay, Alright, now let's take a look at the exercises and let's check the answer. Let's take a look at the answers. Okay, so for the information that's uh, mentioned in the adverts, okay, they are number one, number three, number four, number six, and number nine. Okay, so this is question two. Question three. Okay, um, which are the qualities, which are the information that um, uh, uh, Tom needs to know. Okay, so um, these are the seven things. Okay, and Tom failed two of them. Okay, number five and number seven, Tom failed. Okay, because he's shy. Okay, we part out. It's difficult to talk to people. Don't flight attendant. There is some conflict in it. Okay. Alright, question number four. Okay, for the crossword puzzle. Okay, please take a look at the answers and please check the answers from number three to number six. Okay, and then. Question number five. Okay, some of the words, some of the words that we've just learned. Okay, and you can see they're quite easy to use. In fact,
Okay. Now, in the next part, we're going to talk about uh, in activity three. Let's take a look at here. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about something called a CV. Okay. The full name of the word CV is this curriculum vitae. Or in America, they would like to prefer, they would like to call it uh, resume. Okay, uh, but they are all the same things. Okay, a CV, a curriculum vitae, or a resume is actually a self introduction. Okay, is a document that giving important details about you yourself. Okay, so uh, I don't need you to discuss. Okay, here are the answers of what you need to write down. In a CV, okay. So uh, let's just focus on the true things, okay. Let's just focus on that. All right. Uh, all that falls. That means um, you don't actually need to need to write them down in the CV, okay. So number three is true, okay. It is essential to put referees on your resume, okay. Now I would really say it's only sometimes true. Okay, a referee means someone who can um, tell who you are to your boss, to your future boss. Okay, um, 即係一啲嘅推薦人啦。Okay, uh, it's not really necessary for every job. Okay, 唔係每一個工作咧，其實都一定要你有推薦人嘅。Okay, uh, for number six, now this is very tricky. Uh, a photograph, uh, a photograph. Uh, many people would not recommend uh, to put a photograph in the CV, uh, but with the advance of the technologies, it's kind of easier and easier to to produce high quality of printing. Uh, adding a photos may have certain advantage, but it's not a promise. Okay. And number eight, you should list any voluntary work which you have done. Okay. Now this is. Uh, especially important uh, when you are a fresh graduate, when you don't really have much work experience. Okay, 啊喺冇經驗嘅情況底下咧，誒義務工作嘅經驗咧，其實就係你嘅工作經驗嚟嘅。咁所以咧，呢個都係一個重要嘅元素，你去加落你哋嘅 CV 啦。Okay, now, uh, let's take a look at this passage before we. Do the last part of the exercise here. Okay, how to write a good CV? Now, um, I would like you to learn some of the expressions because um, you may be asked. You may not. You may not need to write a CV in your exam. Okay. Uh, uh, 但係咧，誒、uh, 考試又可以去考你咧，就係俾意見啊 ，to give advice to how uh, to write a good CV. Okay. So please take a look at this now. Uh, before you write a CV, okay, when you want to apply for a job, okay, it's always good to spend time researching the job which you are applying for, okay. Uh, read the company's profile, read their history, okay. Uh, all of these are important message, okay. And in short, you need to tailor your CV, okay, to suit the job application. Now, uh, in this passage, 呢個係一個咧教你點樣做嘢嘅 passage 嚟嘅。咁你會見到咧，就好多嘅句子咧。啊，第一句啦，第二句啦，我哋最後呢一句啦。咁其實都係用一個動詞咧開始嘅。因為咧，誒、呃，其實佢唔需要每一次都講你要做乜，你要做乜。Okay, this word you 係收埋咗噶啦，已經。Okay, so the word tailor that means 去誒。呃裁縫嘅，即係話每一次咧，其實你都要去誒剪裁一下你嘅 CV 啦，唔可以十份工啊，十份工都係用同一個嘅 CV 嘅。Okay, now, uh, some general information. I won't go into detail. I I would let you uh read it by yourself. But there are something I would like you to underline. Okay, and uh, first of all, there's a typo. Okay, 呢度應該有個按字嘅，咁請大家加翻佢啦。Okay. Uh, another thing, education. Now, uh, part of the important message in the CV is your education. Uh, but more importantly, you should tell people. Uh, 除咗你讀過啲咩書咧 ？Okay. How about the activities that you joined? Okay. Uh, we call that extracurricular activity (ECA) in the past. Okay. But now, uh, 我哋學校都係嘅。
都唔叫 ECA 㗎，唔叫課外活動啊，中文咧都會改咗名叫聯課活動啊嘛。咁英文咧亦都唔再係叫 extra 嘅，我哋會叫 co-curricular activities 啊，就係中文所講嘅聯課活動啦。OK， alright， and then。誒、uh, ，when you talk about your work experience， 咁除咗咧就係話俾人聽啊，你之前嘅公司啊，你做咩嘢啦 ，OK？ 誒、uh, ，most importantly， you need to tell people what you actually did， OK？ and what you achieved in that job， OK？ 你做咗啲乜嘢啦，同埋咧你誒、uh, 有啲咩成就啦 ，OK？ Another very commonly used word that means the possessions， OK？ Possessions， alright， 我哋咧可以去。查下呢一隻字咯。OK， 嗱，點解我要講呢一隻字咧？因為呢隻字咧，其實有好幾個嘅誒、呃、用法啦，同埋咧有好幾個嘅意思咧，都係常用嘅。OK，the、okay? first 常用嘅咧就係、是、啊 ，possess， 啊 ，sorry，I mean possessions。OK， 啊 ，possessions 去佔有啦。去擁有啦，即係話你有一啲嘢啦，我哋就可以咧用呢一個字噶啦。This is my possessions。OK， 呢個係我擁有嘅嘢。誒、呃，唔一定講錢嘅。OK， 喺呢一個位嚇，唔一定講錢嘅。咁但係咧，誒、呃，如果你將佢加個 s 啦，你呢啲係我嘅 personal possessions 啦。OK， these are my personal possessions。如果係有眾數嘅，咁呢個就一定咧係講個人嘅財產啦。OK， 個人嘅。誒所擁有嘅嘢啦，咁都記住財產就唔一定係錢嘅。OK 啊，你有嘅誒誒手錶啊、鞋啊、誒嗰啲啊，其實都係你嘅財產。OK， 好啦，咁跟住喎 ，possessions 嘅名誒嘅、呃、動詞咧就係、是、the word possess。OK 啊，咁好似咧好容易去記嘅，咁就係、是、啊誒、呃、possession 咪擁有嘅嘢。咁 process 咪即係去擁有一啲嘢咯，咁呢個啱嘅 ，OK 啊，咁但係啦，其實 process 除咗解去 own something to 擁有一啲嘢咧 ，if you want to process something，OK、okay? 啊、uh, ，I mean process someone，OK、okay? 啊，如果你想去控制去去擁有一個人得唔得㗎？啊，得嘅喎，咁但係你就唔會話去。控、呃、去擁有一個人啦 ，OK， 咁你咧個意思就係去控制啦，去支配一個人啦 ，OK， 去影響佢哋嘅諗嘢方式啦，啊，咁咧就係、是、亦都可以用 process 呢一個字嘅，咁繼而咧，我哋就得出咗一個好得意嘅用法啦 ，processed，OK。Okay. 我哋睇下呢句例句啦。我、right, whatever possessed him, OK， 啊、uh, ，to wear that appalling jacket, OK， 誒、uh, 中文咧呢度就解啦，佢中咗啲乜嘢邪 ，OK， 嗱、uh, ，如果有人控制到你嘅，誒、uh, 有一啲力量控制到你嘅，都幾得人驚喎，係嘛 ？OK， 咁所以咧，其實我哋誒、uh, 中文講嘅所謂誒俾、uh, 人上身啊，啊，咁什麼鬼上身啊？咁英文有冇嘅咧？英文都有嘅原來，咁就係用呢個字啦 ，possessed。OK possessed， 好嘅，咁呢個咧亦都係誒 possess 呢一個得意嘅用法之一。OK， 好 ，Let's continue。好嘅，誒 ，you should also show your interest in your CV 啊。咁你嘅誒喺你嘅 CV 都應該咧講到你嘅 interest 嘅。咁咧嗱呢一句嘢其實你俾 advice 嘅時候就好用啦。咁呢啲 interest 唔係就咁普通嘅 interest 喎，呢啲 interest 咧要係 show 到咧誒 ，which can demonstrate your leadership。and responsibility 啦，呢啲字眼係好用嘅字眼啦。OK， 可以展示到你嘅領導才能啦，展示到你嘅責任感啦。咁呢啲就最好啦。OK， 最後啦，我哋頭先睇嗰呢個字嘅 referee 寫啲嘅推薦人，你需要有嘅。OK， 好 ，and then 誒、uh, last activities。OK， let's take a look at question two。OK， 誒、um,。You will listen to a conversation, okay,、um, about the following CV about、uh, Joey Leung, or and、um, they will tell you there is something wrong in that CV. And while listening, please correct the mistakes. Okay, so let's start. I found a job I'm really interested in, and I want to apply. Could you just take a look at my CV to see if I've left anything out? Okay. 
What kind of job is it? It's the assistant to the sales director of a company that exports wine. That sounds interesting. Will you be able to get me some free bottles? Okay, so what have you written so far? Well, I've put down my address, mobile number, my age, and my religious beliefs. Religious beliefs? You don't need to put that. You don't need to put your age either. Okay, I'll cross those out. I can see you've made a mistake with your address too. It should be number 30 Maiton Road, not number 13. Silly me. I'll change it. I've put down all my HKCEE results. That's good, but you should put English first. They're very interested in that. Okay. And you didn't write down your computer skills. That's in the advertisement too. You can put it in the skills and interests section. What should I put? Well, you need to say that you're proficient in using MS Office and you can also use Photoshop. I see. IT skills. Proficient in MS Office and Photoshop. Good. Where you've put your previous ex employment, you should put the most recent one first. Why didn't you include the voluntary work you did as an office clerk for Oxfam? I didn't think they'd be interested in that. Don't be silly. They always want to know about voluntary work. Put it down at the end, after the paid jobs. Don't forget to put down the dates. When was it? Just a few months, from August to December 2009. OK, better put that down then. You were an office clerk for Oxfam, from August to December 2009. You should put down the duties too. What were they? Mainly answering telephone calls and record keeping. Well, it's relevant to the job you're applying for. Put it down. Right. It looks much better now. Of course. Well, good luck with the application. Thanks. Okay, now let's check the answer. Alright, first mistake is not 13, it's 30. Okay, and then, uh, now, this is actually true that you cannot, you should not, I mean, you should not uh, include your religion and age. Okay, okay, and uh, that lady suggests that you should put English. Uh, at first, okay. <coughs> Alright, and then talking about Oxfam, Oxfam and Oxy will okay. These are the uh, main duties and the durations, okay. So answering telephone calls, record keeping, okay. Uh, yamo hyphen, don't get okay. Do you say the record keeping? Alright, and uh, and the durations August to December 29. Okay. Alright, the most difficult one, uh, uh, questions here is this one. Okay, uh, 最難, 最難, uh, MS Office, uh, Photoshop, uh, okay, Okay, so uh, this is the this is this videos for parts two. Okay.